insane. Look how many people are trying to log in. It is absolutely insane. Fellas, remember my words. We are going to be 169. <laughs> Five hundred sixty seven. <laughs> that was quite an intro, right? Okay, um, so we are in the very first battle with this vehicle. Let's check it out. This is literally the first game of us playing with it. Let's see what this tank is all about. And I am still surprised, fellas. In 20 minutes, all of the tanks we are gone. All of the tanks we are gone. So, yeah, quite a journey if you would ask me. I'm speaking about the camo tanks with the numbers on it, right? Quite interesting. Anyways, uh, looking into all of this, I believe we can be a bit more aggressive here and let's try to play in banana. I am curious how... What the flying F was that? I'm curious how the gun will behave on this vehicle. So, first things first, alpha damage, 530, 267 millimeters of... Wait a second, you know what? I just noticed. 267, okay, 267 millimeters of penetration. Very, very nice. It doesn't look bad whatsoever, right? Um, the 1130 shell velocity. It doesn't look bad by any shape and by any form, I would say. Now, moving on, we have the 311 penetration with the gold shells, which is okay. And we have uh, high explosive penetration of the 65. It doesn't look bad either. On the paper, this tank looks kind of alright. And it looks... Uh, actually, alright is probably underestimatement. It looks very, very nice on the paper. But you see, paper is not everything. Now the question is how this tank will behave. Um, for now, we hit enemies a couple of times. That's always nice and always welcome. Let's see how we can make it work. If we can make it work. This is the question now. Okay. I can tell you one thing. You can get overmatched over there. So please keep this in mind. Especially if you are... Um, if you have... Uh, if you are fighting against someone with one to two millimeters gun, you know, this tank is relatively easy to penetrate. This is literally my first battle with this vehicle. Uh, so it is going to be interesting how we will make this tank work. And I am trying to focus on the game a bit because I do not really know the tank fully yet. So it will take some time for me to figure the things out. Wow, this tank can hit shots. This tank can hit shots, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. The gun of this tank is looking decent, fellas. Um, we got the 3000 in the very first battle playing with this tank. And honestly, I did not even felt it. Obviously, I'm trying to play the game. I am focusing on what I am doing for obvious reasons. But other than that, it looks good. It looks nice. And by the way, this is my first opinions about the tank, right? Don't don't take don't take everything for granted because once again, I do not know how I will feel like about this vehicle after some time I will play with it. This is very important thing to say, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is super important thing to say. Okay, Grilla, beautiful. Now we should be able to finish him off and after that we can eliminate the char footer I would say. 3, 2, 1, bam. Beautiful. Now we can say hello for a char footer. How are you doing my man? How are you doing? He's about to reload but to be completely honest with you it doesn't really change anything for us. I am feeling very very well. Look at this. Look at this. Uh, isn't it funny? Good, we are making sure he is going to have a very nice sandwich. Look at this. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, uh, first game fellas, 6.4 thousand already. Call me dirty, but I would say this is looking pretty damn nice. Now, speaking about the speed of this tank, it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look particularly awesome or epic or something. So please keep this in mind. 
keep this in mind it doesn't look like it is the fastest tank in the world of tanks right how tank is going Obviously, it's not E100 standards. Let's get real. You will outrun E100 without bigger problems whatsoever. So, yeah, uh, great first game. Can we rig brother in arms? This is the question. Ha! Peasant without numbers. Unbelievable. Peasant without numbers. How dare you? <laughs> Obviously, I am messing with this guy and I have a feeling he is baboon, fellas. I want to believe, fellas, he is baboon. Okay. What do we want to do now? Um, I do not really think we are going to reach the um, last kill or the last enemy over there. So what we can do, we can teleport to the end of this game. Let's go. Um, we are back after first game, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and you know what I can tell you? I can tell you we have an ace wanker. Well, first game ace. Um, I would say this is looking like a great start for us and keep this in mind I do not have field modifications on this tank yet so um, Ace Steel wall high caliber brother in arms rigged seven and a half grand of damage 400 assisting damage 1.2 thousand experience so far so good honestly what can I say I am feeling pretty happy with this and look for example how this gentleman behaved by the way he was baboon and I'm curious how he's playing on average 2.4 thousand okay how is that uh, how did other guy played with this vehicle 1.6 thousand damage and compared with E100 it is E100 level Okay, okay, fair enough. It doesn't look that broken looking into the people performance as overall with a tank, right? At least it doesn't look that broken yet. This gentleman is definitely uh, better than average World of Tanks player for sure and he is playing for 3.2 thousand damage. Nice, that's pretty good. Anyways, what I want to say and this is super important thing. This video is having the first impressions of the tank, right? I do not know is the tank epic or is the tank not so epic, but, but we are having today's stream whenever we are going to stream for 12 hours with this tank and we will try to get as close as possible to get Mark of Excellence on. So we are going to figure out how the tank is looking like. In the intro you saw um, me in the morning 8 am while trying to buy the tank and seeing the percentage and everything. Um, or I supposed to say seeing the, this number over there, right? So, without further ado, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's go for round number two. Round number two, losing spawn in steps. Not exactly what I want to see, but this is what we have. Um, I will go to this side. I will try to uh, make as much pressure as we physically and possibly can in order to um, show some dominance, maybe, hopefully. Let's see. My goal is to just cross like this, go like this and keep making pressure. This is very, very important thing to do. <laughs> Boys, look at this. PP raised and we are going with a big smile on our face. Fellas, we have plenty of the baboons. We cannot lose this game. I repeat, we have plenty of baboons and we cannot lose this game. So... Uh, first things first, what I care about and where do I want to go, I want to make quite a bit of pressure like this. Hopefully it will work just fine and hopefully we can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. My goal is not to stop. I will go up like this but I will cross like this to take this position. I will show you exactly how to do that and hopefully this will work just fine. Meanwhile, I want to stop for a second to punish the Super Conqueror because this gentleman made a mistake and I'm aiming for a lower plate and boom. Wow, the gun is looking good. And keep in mind, I am not spamming the full gold. With a gold, this tank would be obviously better because shell velocity would be, uh, would be a tiny touch faster. And this is important thing to um, say an important thing to highlight overall. So let's see. So, how you are crossing? My crossing here is relatively simple. All I want to do, I want to, I want to go like this and I want to cross like this. Now, I do not really need too much speed in order to do so. I just need to go with a bit of wiggle, 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 you see? And we are almost there. Unfortunately, I messed up. Well, what can I say? 
let's see Le can leo do this properly leo can do this properly beautiful you see leo showed you how to do the things and i failed well what can i say hashtag never lucky i guess meanwhile we have one sniper over there which we do not really care about and let's try to eliminate the leo from the game i will take one for the team here do i care too much about this honestly not really and he is dead nice so how do we want to make pressure? I would say there is um, a straight way for us to go in front. As you can see, our team is making a humongous pressure on this side and our team should be able to do everything without bigger problems whatsoever. So let's lead the charge over there. I mean, fellas, we have a game uh, full of the baboons. We do not have a right to lose this game. Even though we have losing spawn, at least in my opinion. Let's see. Fava sitting on the corner. Can we spank him? This is the question. Fava is safe, unfortunately, for us. Do I want to go in front? I know this tank is burning uh, quite a bit. So you need to have uh, you need to have the skills. Uh, you need to have a firefighting skills. It is a super important thing to say. Firefighting skills is pretty much must to have. I am following this 780 and we will try to spank them like there is no tomorrow here in the side. Let's see. Armor wise, this tank doesn't look bad by any shape or by any form. Oh, but it has definitely weak shoulders. This tank needs to go into the gym a bit. Weak shoulders, fellas. Hmm. Okay, let's continue the pressure. We can go in front. I want to cross just like so. And now we are going to say hi for Mr. Kran. How are you doing? Beautiful. This alpha damage feels absolutely amazing. This alpha damage, fellas, feels definitely great. It doesn't feel like... Um, the tank is underperforming just because of alpha if you know what i mean and gun accuracy is looking great um as well nice fellas is it broken tank i do not really think it is broken tank i think this tank might have a very high um skill level cap to play it's not like 279e whenever you can do whatever you want you know you all you need to do you need to point towards the enemy this tank is looking completely differently and it looks like with this vehicle you actually need to know how to use the armor and not everything is so ideal right um but other than that i am feeling relatively happy with uh, with the game for the next game, I'm going to spam the full gold. For the next game, I want to check out how this vehicle is performing whenever you are going with a full gold ammunition, right? Uh, and um, can we spot the difference? Because with a standard ammunition, it worked okay. Uh, sure, I could shoot a bit of the gold there and there, but I was trying to uh, shoot as many APs as I physically and possibly could. Um, once again, not bad, 2.8,500, actually for a T Tier 10 tank, it's pretty bad. Um, I do not even have 5,000 combined. Never mind, it's bad. Scratch that, fellas. It is a bad performance. Let's go for a last one while having the... While having... Uh, better loadout. Shall we? Let's go. Okay, let's make pressure on top of the hill, I guess. Because this is only a one hour chance. You know what? Nowadays playing with a 279e can be very very good idea because there is a lot of hit points in the game. There is plenty of the 780s. So maybe playing with a 279e can be an excellent idea, right? Considering 279e um, has so much better armor and with this tank speaking about the penetration let's get real you do not have the best penetration ever right also looking into the 780s there is plenty of the 780s without numbers there is plenty of the 780s without numbers wow maybe people do not enjoy the camo or or maybe um 
pretty much everyone um, well not everyone was um, so damn special to wake up um, in 8 in the morning in order to get this tank or if you are British you needed to wake up 6 in the morning so yeah quite a journey fellas quite a journey anyways I was watching some streamers who are playing uh, with this vehicle and I can tell you one thing um, the matchmaking in the first two hours was ridiculous. By saying this, there was like 14 780s in each team. It was insane. It was truly insane. Okay. Speaking about the side scrapping, once again, I really want to highlight this. It shouldn't be a problem to penetrate this vehicle here. So, side scrapping is not that um, is not that beneficial, especially if you are meeting someone who knows what they are doing. It's very important thing to say. I have a feeling. I have a feeling we have a baboon. I have a feeling we have a baboon here. Okay, let's see. Cupola. Unfortunately, we are not spanking him. That's fine. Fava is going on top. This is okay. Um, enemies have actually a bit better uh, position over there, I would say. Can we penetrate him? 600. 630, fellas. Ay, 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 ay. This alpha damage is, uh, is definitely something else. Yep, well that was fun. Fava just managed to penetrate me straight in the face somewhere. I do not know exactly where but that wasn't uh, that enjoyable to be completely honest with you. And we have Arta who is spanking us. Not the best idea but I need to give um, a thumbs up for Fava balls. He actually went up the hill so his balls is the size of the sun fellas. Because usually with Fava you are not doing this kind of ridiculous play if you know what I mean. And why am I calling this ridiculous? I am calling this ridiculous because uh, this is very 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 risky play overall. Since I am down to one shotable, um, not, nothing what I can do about this at this point. I see that bloody art is spanking us left right and center but I cannot change anything. You see... Um, Enemies are winning the hill because they have more forces playing on top of the hill and in this kind of situation I do not really think we can do something here honestly. I do not really think we can do something. Meanwhile Favel, luckily for us, he's aiming to the people who has more hit points than I do. And once again, let's keep this in mind, they have a Jeff and that Jeff uh, really wants to spank us in the face like there is no tomorrow. Beautiful shot towards Vaza. I can hear Jeff incoming. Okay, we are fine, let's see. He is aiming for me, that's understandable, not, not much what I can change there. Good, 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 let's try to fight for our ground, fellas. I repeat, let's try to fight for our ground. Kranwagen is sitting here on the corner, I think he has only one left, so I am feeling relatively alright, and let's see what we can do here. What we can do here now? Hmm... Not that simple to penetrate this vehicle if we are speaking about the lower alpha damage, if you know what I mean. Yeah, bloody Jeff, nothing what we can change. Damn. Cool. That's okay. Look, talking about this game, um, I lost way too many hit points for that bloody Fava, okay? That was my misplay and that was my bad play here. Other than that, what can I say? Um, it was alright. If not that one shot from the Fava for 1.4 thousand with AP, I think the situation would be so much better. Um, but unfortunately it wasn't, so I can only complain about this. And yes, I understand this is a big high roll from this guy's side. It is okay. Let's teleport to the end of this game and let's see can our team win this game. Let's go. And we are back. Well, what can I say? The last game, 2.7 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. It's okay. 
what can you do? Cry every time, right? Um, let's see how overall people are playing with this vehicle. For example, this gentleman had absolutely amazing game. Good for him. And on average, he's playing for 1.9 thousand damage, speaking about this tank. Let's see the other gentleman. Very, very good player. Extremely strong player. And how is he playing with this tank? 1.9 thousand. It doesn't look broken. It doesn't look broken whatsoever, fellas, speaking about the performance of the World of Tanks players, right? At least from what we can tell, it's not like it is uh, the most broken tank. It's not 279E level or, or, or something, right? Which is quite nice if you would ask me. Yeah. It performs on average uh, nowadays, and this is fear. So, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, those were the first three games with this tank. We finished everything with a 4.3 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. And if you want to see more of this, I will give you my opinion very, very soon. Probably in, um, in two days, you are going to have my full opinion about this tank. What do I think, how it feels like, and how do I like this tank overall? And now... Thank you very much for watching. It was your daily dose of skill. And see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.